Hello guys, today I got a really really dark video for you. We're going to be talking about the infamous and almost unbelievable case of Oysten Arset, better known as Euronymous. Let's get started. Oysten Arset was born on March 22nd, 1968 in Sugnadal, Norway. A metalhead and a guitarist, he formed his first and only band, Mayhem, in 1984, along with bassist Jorn Stuberud, better known as Necro Butcher, and drummer Kietil Mannheim. Oysten always had an affinity for demonic and strange names, so at first he chose the name Destructor, but soon after changed it to Euronymous derived from the demon Euronymous. After an overlooked demo called Metallion in the Park, they changed two crucial things that would change the trajectory of the band forever. First, they replaced Kietel with Jan Axel Blomberg aka Hellhammer on drums. Second, they got a new vocalist for the band. In 1988, Perolin better known as Dead, would join the band on vocals, and let me tell you, this man was as extreme as it gets. You see, when Perolin was still a kid, he used to get bullied a lot in school, and at one point, one of his bullies ruptured his spleen, so he suffered internal bleeding and was pronounced clinically dead in the hospital. Many people believe that this incident was responsible for his fascination with death, which would develop later, hence his stage name. The people who knew him would report that he had no sense of humor, enjoyed killing cats, and believed that he was already dead. The latter one is an actual condition called Cotard Syndrome, which is the belief that one's body is not that of a living, breathing human being, but of a corpse and that the world around him is a mere dream. On stage, he would wear corpse paint, throw pig's heads at the audience and even self-mutilated, sometimes to a point of severe blood loss. This all came to an end when on April the 8th, 1991, Dad would slash his wrists and when Dad didn't do the job, he shot himself with the shotgun, ending his life. He was just 22 years old. Euronymous was the first one to discover the body. And what did he do, you might ask? Well, he went to the store, bought a video camera and took photos of his friend's deceased body and also allegedly made necklaces with pieces of his skull. Necro Butcher was the first to hear about what Euronymous had done and enraged decided to quit mayhem. Euronymous started getting more and more extreme day by day. What was at first just an edgy stage persona developed into his actual personality. He started to display really misanthropic views, constantly talk about killing and also fetishized about burning churches. In 1992 he also decided to continue the band with new members to record their album The Mysteries Dom Satanas and the man behind the bass playing was a 19 year old named Varg Vikernes and he is going to be a very important piece to the story. Varg Vikernes was born on February 11, 1973 in Bergen, Norway. Inspired by British heavy metal and the Swedish proto-black metal band Battery, he started to play guitar at 14 years old and by the time he met Mayhem's founder Euronymous, he was already an accomplished player. The two bonded over heavy metal, black metal and even church burnings. It was rumored that in 1992 the two were involved in at least three church burnings across Oslo, including the ancient Fentoff church. They even had a weird rivalry between them on who could be more extreme and more violent. 
Euronymous couldn't let his students surpass him, but in the end he did. One day, Vikrans decided to talk to the press about the church burnings in Oslo in an attempt to promote black metal, so he ended up incarcerated on charges of arson, but because it's really hard to prove such a thing, he was let out almost immediately. And from that moment on, he became a huge star for the scene, being seen as the poster boy for the genre. He was even featured on Kerrang! magazine's front cover. Everyone was cheering him up. Everyone except Euronymous, who hated the idea of someone else stealing his spotlight. So he started to tell his friends that he was going to kill Vikerns and make a snuff movie out of it. The news quickly got out to Vark, so he decided to play along. One day, Euronymous invited Vikerns to his place to sign a contract. So Vikerns hatched an almost perfect plan. On the night of August 10th, 1993, a 20-year-old Vikerns drove for Bergen to Oslo to meet Euronymous. When he was let into his apartment, he withdrew a knife. And the power struggle began, which ended in Euronymous getting fatally stabbed 23 times all across his body, including to the head. Varg Vikerns was soon arrested on account of murder and spent his time in prison from 1994 to 2009. Upon his release, he moved to France and even started his family there with a wife and a child born in 2007. He also started his YouTube channel called Tulean Perspective. On there, he would share his stories from the black metal days and also expressed his anti-Semitic views. In June 2019, his channel was terminated due to hate speech and not much is known about him since then. And with that said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one.